you can never do enough. Uh, not at this moment. Um, uh, I tell you what I'm proudest of. I'm proudest of the work I do at the European Union level. Uh, actually, in the UK, there's a degree of consensus that we should tackle climate change. We've got the Climate Change Act. But across Europe, um, that hasn't been the case. The countries without carbon, climate change legislation, uh, until we got the deal last year, uh, the October European Council for the 2030 targets, only five Euro EU countries had post-2020 targets. Uh, and I led, and I can genuinely say this, I personally led all the work at the European Union. I set up the Green Growth Group, which brought together lots of like-minded uh, ministers on climate, um, obviously the Germans and the French and the Italians and the Spanish, but the Nordics in particular I have a very good relationship, particularly the Danes and the Dutch. And we worked really well together over a concerted period, building relationships, not doing Europe in a way that some people do, from us, like Conservative and Labour ministers, uh, where they're just uh, transactional. But if you want to lead on Europe, you've got to build relationships, relationships between ministers and other ministers, relationships between officials. And if you do that, and if you give the time and effort to it, you can win. You can win the argument, and you can drive ambition. And by through the Green Growth Group, through the Green Growth Platform, which got businesses involved as well, we won the argument. I remember I had a, uh, a meeting with Connie Hedegaard, a good friend of mine now, the former climate change commissioner. When I said that the UK position was to, to go for a 2030 target of at least 40%, she smiled at me in one of Connie's lovely smiles, which seemed to imply, you're terribly naive, Edward. Guess what? We got at least 40%. That didn't happen through just turning up. That happened through a lot of work. I'm very deeply proud of the officials in my department who played a real big, big role in that. And we led the way. And, um, you know, that doesn't solve climate change. But what it means is Europe now is in a much stronger position, united on an ambitious position, which we need to defend and not allow to be undermined by anybody, uh, and enables us to go to the UN table to, 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 to lead.